What's up, the Annihilator? Fucking roommates are partying their ass off tonight. Last stream was short. Yeah, I had to, um, I had to do stuff. I had to, yeah, I'll show you. I had to put my food in here. That's what I had to do. All my shit. Put, this is what the roommate was eating right here. My chicken. He was eating that shit. <laughs> and, um, what's it called? I had to make some dinner, too. I don't want to be too late with that, you know? I don't want to do it live in front of these people, either, to be honest. I don't want these people to know I do YouTube. Make sure they don't find your channel. I mean, they won't. They won't find that shit. I mean, unless they're like, they're like YouTube watchers and they watch what, like everything. They find out somehow. Yeah, they're not going to find out though. They have no idea I do it. Frozen breakfast pizza. That sounds pretty good, man. Imagine putting like hash browns on top of the pizza. It should be fucking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I was, um, after a live, I saw my roommate walking, and he came up, he shook my hand, and he was like, I'm so sorry, I was so drunk, I fucking ate your chicken, <laughs> you know? And I just told him, like, we're gonna have a problem, this shit happens again. I told him I bought a fucking fridge. You don't fuck come in my room and fucking do that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Mark. Just tell him I'm talking to some friends online. <laughs> or fucking, um, uh, I'm like playing fucking PlayStation like this. <laughs> They respect me. Yeah, they better. I'm not nothing. I'm not a person to mess around with either. Especially uh, like if I told him I was bipolar and fucking, you don't want to see me angry. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, at least they admitted their wrongs. They knew what they did. You know what I mean? So. As long as they fucking do that, they don't do it again, then it's all right. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of pizza right there. I'm the alpha in the house. Yeah, supposedly. I mean... I'm the oldest here, I'm fucking, like, I don't want people to mess with me, so, you gotta fucking act pretty alpha when you're with these random roommates and they're trying to do shit to you, 
you know. Because if you hold that shit in, like, you fucking suppress your shit. Like, you're gonna fucking lash out on people, and that's not what you want to do. Like, I fucking did that so many times, and it landed me nowhere. You never like pizza? Hmm, that's a first. I never heard of someone that don't like pizza. What is it? The sauce? The cheese? Like, the crust? Like, you just don't like it? I'm a big pizza guy. I like I like a lot of carbs, so you gotta be careful with that because that shit can make you gain some weight. You like the crust? Do you prefer cheese crust or plain crust? If you had to pick. Yeah, pizza is expensive. You're not wrong. <laughs> I think I'm going to get pizza this weekend. I want to get that fucking Angelo's pizza. Best pizza in Philly. Fucking, it's, uh, tastes good. Yeah, I'm not a big soda guy, though. I mean, the only time I liked soda was, was when I was drinking, like, rum and coke. <laughs> You know, that was the only time. Yeah, all meant to. I like junk food too. <laughs> you give me fucking tasty cakes, I'll fucking eat them fuckers. Or fucking like uh, Sour Patch Kids, I'll fucking eat so many of them. Or fucking Swedish Fish, you know what I mean? Did you fill your fridge? Hey, I'll show you. There you go. Oh, my bad. I'm trying to push the chair. Yeah, this is what my roommate was eating. My chicken. Look. See how he opened that? I had to break this because I had to fit in here, but he ate three of my breasts right there. And he bought he bought me this right here. But I still don't trust them. I like to fucking hide this shit. They're getting drunk again. My God. It's a nice little setup. I got this one too. Got all my shit. My water. I just had asparagus today. Had some salmon luck. Which is cream cheese and a bagel with this stuff. I try to get the lowest calorie bread. It's like more keto, so, you know, I got my yogurt, my fruit. I, I don't know what happened to my blueberries. I think they fucking ate that, too. <laughs> kind of fucking want that for my fucking lunch. Fucking assholes. They ain't fucking touching this shit. Yeah, it's, groceries are expensive. I'm fucking... I can't lose money like that. <laughs> That's good, Mark. At least you were able to store your fridge in there. Uh, let me charge my, uh, my bad guys. I'm going to charge my AirPod case for a little bit. <laughs> Thursday's uh, your first day. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Hopefully things turn out well for you, man. You don't deserve all that pain and shit. You get that nice place. Fucking things to do. You know. More, I, I think you told me it was renovated, too. So that's even perfect. Is the kitchen clean? Fuck no. <laughs> I mean, sometimes they clean it, but they really make it dirty for a long time. Like, I was walking yesterday and fucking... Not yesterday, I was walking this morning, and it was sticky on the fucking floor. Because of them drinking. 
then they couldn't they use my chicken and they put in a crock pot and they fucking cook the shit out of it and gets dirty they don't clean it up for a long time i mean this time it looks like they cleaned it which is good you know Yeah, I think hash browns on the pizza would be a good idea, dude. It's pretty innovative. Hash brown and maybe some sausage, maybe. It'd be a good idea. Yeah, race, try again. IT career, man. If that's something you want to do, fucking do it. Egg, sausage, and cheese. That sounds pretty good, too. It's a good combo. Add in fucking a hash brown on there. Yeah, right. It's good. That you got away from those fuckers when they show their true colors, man. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth that shit. Man, if it wasn't for my medicine that I take at night, I would not sleep with this fucking partying going on. I don't know if you guys hear this fucking music in the background. You're getting fucking turned. What's up, Emmett? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta stand up for yourself, Mark. You can't let those people fuck with you. And plus, you're on Discord. You can fucking do it. You can fucking lash out. You can hear it? Yeah, it's fucking loud, man. Oh, man, I used to do that shit, too, but, like... Man, I just can't believe I'm living in a fraternity. <laughs> a frat house. Like, I was, like, cooking my food and fucking 15 frat bros are fucking talking about my how good my food was. I mean, that's cool and all, but just so many people in this fraternity. <laughs> my God. It's like I'm living in a nightmare. Like, there's nothing, I mean, they're, they seem like nice people, but man, just, you're not, you're not going to get privacy at this place I'm living at. Temporarily. Yeah, they were asking me to drink tonight. I was like, dude, I got fucking work. Wish I could fucking do that stuff, but can't do it with my moods. And I can't fucking do it because I got work. I gotta make money. Yeah, right? Should put a fucking lock on that fucking thing. See, this is the door right here. This is the door now I gotta replace. I gotta fucking take that out. And fucking... Put it... Replace it and get a key. For the outside. I gotta fucking do that shit for my fucking room. I don't know when I'm going to go to Lowe's to do that, but maybe this weekend or something. 
fucking sucks that the maintenance people don't want to fucking give you a doorknob that you can lock your fucking room. I think the issue is the key. They need to give me a key, but I got to do it on my own, I guess. <laughs> but if you guys want me to do some videos, comment down below. Like what kind of videos you guys want me to talk about. The reason why I'm doing these lives all the time is I'm getting lonely, man. I'm getting pretty lonely out here. Yeah, I live in a frat house. Yep. I'm kind of an idiot. I fucking did it because it was cheap rent. So I can save money and get back on my feet. But I didn't realize that I was going to be living in a frat house. I should have known because when I first walked in, I saw the Greek life fucking logo they have in there. You know? Yeah, it's going to be a nightmare, Rose. It's going to be this fraternity shit. It's going to be hard to live with. On top of the job, too. Like, it's just... I mean, not really. <laughs> I think there is some normal college kids that aren't in the frat, but there's like two of my roommates. The one that ate my chicken is in the frat. <laughs> it's not a good thing to be lonely. We need to fix that. I agree, man. Definitely fucking gotta agree. I mean, at least I got a lock right here. The one time they were partying and they were trying to get in, but at least I got this fucking thing. <laughs> I mean, I could use this, too. Fucking insane. Ugh. This is what my bipolar lands me in, too. It lands me in the fucking shit that I don't want to be in. <laughs> let them know you're live streaming? Yeah, I should let them know. Be like, yo, guys, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, tell them fucking assholes, Am. Man, I'll tell you this. Right when I go to bed, someone's gonna be in the toilet fucking throwing out. This shit's suffering, man. I never asked for this. <laughs> asked for this life. I mean, at least, like, I can tell my past story of me going to college and drinking and shit, so. You know what I mean? They can res try to respect me and my boundaries. Because that's relatable to them. Yeah, that sucks, Mark. It sucks you have to share with a fucking roommate. You're in a better mood today? I guess better than last weekend, yeah. I mean, I feel more level-headed than my depressive episode for the last couple weeks. <laughs>
Well, if she likes my friends, then she ain't worth it, Race. Yeah, I find another chick. I get backup chicks. Yeah, get backup ones. If you can't get any, just get an escort. More safer than fucking hooking up with some randoms. Why are her nurses so hot? I don't know. They just fit. They just fit the description of a fucking nurse. They're they're hot. They're fucking got the body. When you're a patient, you fucking go there. You get a boner. Like it just draws people into the fucking doctors, the nurses. Man, I just wish I wasn't mad and could spend my money. I would be having my own studio. Or fucking, like, a better place to live, you know? Are you ever worried an escort would set you up? Yeah, yeah. I, I worry about it. That's why you gotta do your research when you get with them. You gotta make sure they're, like... They screen you, and you make sure that they don't have a pimp. You know what I mean? Most of the time, you're not going to get set up, though, if you're getting a high-class escort, even though you're paying a lot of money. Like, I never had, like, an escort where I was fucking set up. Like, had those feelings. I, I mean, the first one, yeah, because I... I was very nervous, you know what I mean? But once I knew about it, I know what it is. You can kind of tell which one's real and which one's not. Uh, that fucking sucks, Mark. Dealing with those fucking boomers. Fucking r rude people they had to live with. That sucks, man. Yeah, I would not, I would not like that shit. I mean, at least my roommates aren't fucking, like, douchebags to the point where they try to make fun of me or something, you know? I would have a whole nother issue if I had that problem. Hmm, you had to kiss ass too? Yeah, fuck that. Oh, uh, that would suck. <laughs> One kidney missing. You wake up in the bathtub, fuck that. You'd basically be dead. Yeah, that sucks, Mark. It sucks you had to go through all that. You don't even deserve it. What the fuck? You got it yourself? That's good. Fuck living with some random, that's for sure. Imagine I had to share a room with one of these fraternity bros. <laughs> that would suck dick. Yeah, this that sounds like shitty years, Mark. Fuck that. That sucks ass.
Yeah, that sucks. Sucks ass. I might have to get food stamps too, because I fucking... I don't think I'm making that much money. I have to somehow get food stamps and try to get better health insurance where I don't have to pay. Yeah, it sucks you had to live in there, dude. Fuck that. I need to get a haircut. My goodness. I mean, I had to shave my beard for the job. Trim it up, but... Definitely need a haircut. Yeah, I just had a depressive episode, man. Fucking, um... Like, last weekend, it was really bad. Nice. Had it really bad before then, too. It just sucks have feeling like that. <laughs> Like, especially with my bipolar, like, like I was very manic last year. I had lots of mania. But now, since it's winter time and not enough sunlight and my mania is kind of switching to depression, like, now, now it's like depression episode. Now I'm kind of a little level-headed, but it fucking sucks. Like, this weekend, I I couldn't even get out of bed. Like, I, I literally had to fucking, like, get up sometimes to go to the bathroom. That's it. Like, I just literally sat in bed the whole fucking time. And no motivation. Nothing. Yeah, that may be bipolar, man. <laughs> Like, if you say you get manic and you get irritable, you get ragey, you get angry, or you get super happy, and you spend loads of money, and you fucking, like, have risky sex, you know what I mean? That's fucking mania, man. That shit. That's what I usually get. And then the depression part, you just feel like, feel like shit, and you feel like feel like garbage physically you fucking can't even get out of bed you know Uh, I just hope I don't get an episode like that again, like last year. <laughs> like, working with my dad, I was manic. <laughs> I was actually pretty manic in the spring, too. I fucking raged then, so... Sometimes you got That's what sucks about bipolar, like... You don't realize it until... Like... Like, a couple months later that you were manic, you know? Like, that mania shit I had last year led me to couch surf, led me to fucking live here, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I want to do the CDL, but that was just very unlucky.
So yeah, bipolar sucks. I fucking hate it. Like my bullshit ass parents fucking had shitty genetics and passed on to me. And I fucking had to deal with bullying all my life. I had to deal with fucking I had to deal with abuse all my life. Being neglected, being ignored. You know what I mean? That just fucking triggers your fucking genet your gene, bipolar. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, Lucas. I've, I let's hope you get better this year, man. Hopefully things turn out well. Mm, I hope the same for myself too. You know what I mean? Th this shit's a battle. This shit. This shit's fucking ass. Neurotypicals don't understand. <laughs> they think it's something simple when really it isn't. That's why there's so much stigma to mental health. Your sleep meds, reading some books. That's good, man. At least those help. The internet makes it worse. Yeah, like if you say you're on YouTube and fucking see some videos that trigger you, that make you feel some type of way, it'll fuck you up, you know? May 2024? Why Why's it gotta be that month? <laughs> Yeah, let's hope we get per like personal growth for all of us. I agree. Yeah, a lot of jobs trigger my bipolar too. I gotta watch out. Like, say for example, like if my job is, stre is so stressful, it gets me moody and it's gonna cause a fucking manic episode. I gotta leave the job. It, it's literally my health. Like, I literally. Because there was a lot of jobs that I worked at, even though I lowered the medicine on a lot when I was working on all these jobs, I fucking had manic episodes. I was raging. I was fucking fucked up. You know what I mean? So, and plus, I got to work on my fucking reactions. I got to work on my fucking, um, how I deal with like stress you know what i mean <laughs> like see like it's just different when this roommate ate all my chicken normally that would fucking if i was in a manic state i would not think straight i would get fucking raging on that dude but i'm thinking straight and i'm not i'm not uh uh um uh, uh, i think my headphones died Hold on a second. Hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hold on. You guys hear me? Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to be okay with that, too. The same job every single day. The fuck, you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can hear me on here. Volume's low, well, yeah, because I have to charge these AirPods. Can you hear me at least, though? You know, as well? My phone is kind of messed up. You can hear me? That's good. It's muffled. Yeah, maybe let these headphones charge for a bit and then see what happens to them.
I get fed up and quit too. I get fed up like that and quit jobs. Wanna work on your depression and get a job? Yeah, man. Let's hope things get better for you, man. Hopefully you can cope with that depression of yours and you can work, you know? Just hopefully you find that job that doesn't make you even more depressed. You know what I mean? Because a lot of job there's a lot of jobs out there that make people depressed. You gotta find that right one for you. What job do you work? I'm a, I'm a drain cleaner. I'm trying to... So if I'm, I never did it before, so... I'm, like, training for it. It's kind of a little bit of plumbing, too. Like, I'm doing some plumbing work. So... Not super crazy about the job, but... It's something for now. Oh, here comes the women in the fucking apartment. These fucking frat boys gotta get their dicks wet. Is that an antipsychotic or is that an antidepressant? I think I might have heard of that before. Guess again, they ain't my neighbors. <laughs> They're my fucking roommates. They're partying their ass off. Yeah, they're partying. Yep. Oh, they just turned it up. It fucking sucks because I'm living in a frat house. Should have fucking. Should have thought about it more instead of the price. One of the frat, one of the frat bros fucking took my chicken. So I had to fucking buy a fridge. Yeah, I have my own room. I'll show you this. Can you lock it? I mean, I can lock my door, this part, but not part, which sucks. What the heck did I just drop here? Back? Uh, um, yeah, he ate this chicken here. He ate it. I, I broke this because I had to fed it in here, but... He ate three pieces of chicken breast. God damn it. And I fucking got my shit in here. Where'd you find this place? Um, I found it on Facebook. Facebook Marketplace. He ate raw chicken? Yeah, he ate a fucking raw chicken. Like, what the fuck's wrong with him? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. He... He was cooking my chicken. He was cooking my fucking... He, he was cooking my fucking chicken breasts. Oh, maybe we can use the headphones now. Hold on. Oh. What did I just do? There it is. Oh, headphones. Yeah.
There we go. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I'm living in like a college campus fucking area. I did live with my parents. I fucking moved out slash kicked out. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to, Base Pass. Save up and put keep my head down. I don't know if I'm getting my own studio. We'll see. It's possible. It's fucking so expensive. I just hope I can handle my job, too. Because, you know, I just hope things can... Like, if things get so stressful, I gotta find a way to cope. You know what I mean? Do they ever come in and bother you? <laughs> there was this one time where I was sleeping and fucking... Some drunk motherfucker tried to get in my fucking room, but I locked it. How do you handle living on your own? I mean, I, I basically... It's my first time living my own. I can't really handle it with these roommates. That's for sure. I was I was gonna be a truck driver. That's what my original plan was. Live in the truck. Fucking get tested on my fucking leg hair and it fucking test for weed. I never wanted to live in this fucking place, but I had to. I never asked to work at this place I'm working at either. You know. So. Yeah, I can't look back though. I gotta just go forward. Unfortunately, uh, ride this fucking out. All people want to harm you. It seems seems like that. Yeah, I I don't know what it is, but it just it just feels like it's um it's like determined. My life, like, my life's just determined ever since I was born. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, like, me having fucking all these problems, like, mentally and all that, just, and school fucked me up. It's, like, determined that my life's gonna fucking be shit, but I'm not gonna let it be like that, though. I'm fucking sick of it. Yeah, that's the healthcare system sucks in Maine. Seems like that's ass. It's like things like you want to get help, but short staff. It's expensive. Like that's why the health, mental health, and physical health up there is not so great. You need to address the problems instead of these politicians. Like fucking putting their wads of money in their fucking back pocket, not doing anything with it. Yeah, I mean, I gotta stick this out for eight months. So, after eight months, fucking, I can get the fuck out of here. (laughs) Who knows, maybe my dad will fucking trust me, I can live with him again. Try to save up money and try to do something in my life, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. So, yeah, you got to fight it. Sometimes you just got to put in some action into it. You know, that's why I had to quit fucking drinking. I had to quit smoking cigarettes because that shit makes me manic. (laughs) And I don't want to be like that anymore, so. Try to get the fuck out of my situation. People are out to get you? Yeah, that sounds like some paranoia you're fucking experiencing. That sucks. 
What kind of people, man? Is it like fake fuckers or just fucking randoms in general? Well, I mean, they're not really like douchebags to the point where they're bullies. I wouldn't say that. I just feel like they're careless. They're ca- they're like careless college kids. Like I, I I can't I don't like calling them college kids. I, I call them college adults. Fucking. Um, they just feel careless, and they just they don't like think before what they're doing because they're drinking. They're fucking doing crazy shit. Yeah, it is awkward, dude. I was fucking <laughs> making my fucking dinner. And fucking, um... All these fraternity brothers were fucking hovering around me. You're like, what What are you making? That smells good. That looks like 70 grams of protein you're eating there. You know? I mean, I, I appreciate them compliments and stuff, but... Why can't I fucking cook in peace, man? Like, fucking... Like, cook with no one around. It's just awkward. They're all ready to get turned up. They're ready to bring all their Hawaiian punch and mix it out with some vodka so they can drink that jungle juice and fucking get hammered and be stupid. I'll tell you this. I really regret doing that shit every weekend when I was in college. That shit was fucking... That shit just gives me regrets every time now, even though it was... At the moment, it was fun. Seems like kind of a test. Nah, it doesn't trigger me. Like, it just feels awkward when they're fucking looking at my food. Especially the one that fucking took my chicken. Makes me think the other ones are like that, too. (laughs) Zero range for gas? That's not good, man. It's fucked up. (laughs) Yeah, it does, man. Society does do that shit, Brayden. I'll admit, I got caught into that garbage, you know? It kind of fucked me up, to be honest with you. It kind of brought up my bipolar disorder, that's for sure. (laughs) Drinking, acting stupid, fucking... (laughs) Like, supposedly you get laid in college, fucking... Get high, you know what I mean? It's just... You know, college ain't worth it. Unless you're going for something that's actually worth it when you get out. Panic attack? Am I experiencing one? Ah, you're talking to rates. Oh, man, that shit getting loud, dude. <laughs> About to change locations. I don't blame you, dude. I kind of wish I fucking moved down south. I uh, wasn't mentally ready yet. Yeah, I feel that, dude. I feel that when you see people that you knew from your past and they fucking do their own thing and they supposedly have this so-called success what society tells them, you know? I feel that, man. I'll say this. Don't compare yourself to them. Do, Do your thing, dude. Don't fucking compare yourself to others because that shit's gonna fuck with you. Don't get me wrong, that shit fucks with me still, you know what I mean, but you don't want that shit to fuck with you. Like, do what makes your makes you happy. 
don't make any crazy decisions, though. Nah, I'm not making this crazy decisions anymore. Not doing that traveling shit. I mean, I would like to travel, but do it at the right time. You know what I mean? Like, not drinking anymore. I'm not fucking smoking. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing wrong with if it doesn't affect you in ways, but once it affects you, it fucking ain't worth it. Ah, uh, you're going to Las Vegas? That's cool, dude. See what you drove all over the U.S., Braden. You drove all over the place. Says zero? I don't know, man. It's not good. If you think that you put gas in there, you may have to turn your car in. If it's not reading right. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, it ain't worth gambling, man. I only did it one time with these kids I fucking hung out from my high school, and it ain't worth it. You gotta get lucky. It's all about luck, gambling. Yeah, but if you guys want me to do some videos, uh, like for the weekend, comment down below. I'll, I'll do some. <sighs> Man, this shit sucks. What the fuck? I'm probably have to take my medicine real quick for this fucking... My God, bro. <laughs> medicine number one. Mmm, I do with my water here. My bad, guys. Gotta figure out where I put it. There it is. Shit. Oh. <clears throat> this shit's a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, I can't forget to take that fucking med, dude. <laughs> Are they throwing a rave down there? Looks like it. Fucking raving. They're fucking... Fraternity brothers are holding their hands. You know what I mean? Doing all kinds of shit down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm dying inside every fucking night, dude. Can't believe I decided to live here. I would have been better off, like, living with someone that's my age. Like, my age group. That's fucking not a partier. And, um, the rent a little higher, you know what I mean? I want. I should have fucking... I wouldn't mind paying a little more rent on rent. <laughs> so my budget was could have been a little higher there. Make a video on the living situation. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> Yeah, guess it is a lesson. Something that I didn't want. <laughs> I want to be in the truck. I want to fucking drive a fucking 53 footer. <laughs> I 
not fucking live with fucking fraternity bros. Who knows what they're doing down there? There's, there's this, there's some shit that goes down frats where they fucking, there's rape going on. That shit, that shit ain't cool. I remember when I was in college, there was these, there was this one fraternity that there were some rumors that they fucking raped girls and shit. Fucked up. What I learned from my bipolar? All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I did coke, too. I did that shit. Like, in college. I was doing... I was basically doing the same shit they were doing down there. I just wasn't in the frat. Like, I just... When I was in college, I snuck in the fraternity parties and just stole everything from them and... I would get really drunk and hammered. They wouldn't even know me. And then I would bring a fucking big bottle of, uh, like, Bacardi or something. they think I was cool. <laughs> Stupid. Done acid? No, I was about to do it in college, but I... I didn't want to because I think it would have fucked me up. You know what I mean? Because I'm not a big fan of smoking weed. I did mostly like party drugs. I did MDMA and I did coke. Mostly did drink and smoke weed. Like That's basically it though. Yeah, it sounded like they were moochers. They wanted to fucking do that shit. Yeah, good idea, dude. Good idea you didn't fucking keep that app. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I fucking went to fraternity parties, and there was some, I met some cool people in them, but majority of them were fucking dicks. <laughs> I don't like a lot of them. I remember where I was going, trying to go to this one party with this one person I was hanging out with. We were trying to enter, and fucking, this one dude... Said, oh, you need women. You need girls, dude. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? Wait, are you running out? Who cares? Yeah, when you're in a fraternity, too, you gotta pay for it. You gotta fucking pay. I heard you gotta pay, like, a couple hundred bucks to join. Just to get hazed and fucking... Fucking deal with the shit for fucking months. This shit's a nightmare, man. My God. This shit's... I already know what's gonna happen. This shit's gonna be, like, every weekend. This shit's gonna be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And they do some of it during the week. Yeah. Fraternity bros are fucking... Fucking dumb, man. <laughs> I remember I thought it was cool as shit. I wanted to fucking join, but once I went and, and rushed and they do that hazing shit, I, what they do, I was like, fuck that. I was just going there to get fucked up. Yeah, I don't enjoy life that much either, dude, unfortunately. 
Oh, I'm I'm gonna lock my room, man. My fucking so far it kind of sucks. Like I got that, and then I got that there. So. <laughs> Life got really boring and sad. Yeah, I feel you, dude. We need to have a second COVID fucking 24 coming. If fucking that happened, there were going to be a fraternity party right now. Yeah, exactly, Mark. Like, it just like when you have your deter, like when you're born, you fucking are born with like these genetics and these parents, these this circumstance you're living in, like the neighborhood or the environment, right? Like, it just seems determined. You know what I mean? Like, your life is gonna be hard and it's gonna be a struggle. You know what I mean? Yeah, it looks like it was helping you improve your life, it seems like, man. Looks like there. Seems like it was helping you. Yeah, I feel that, dude. Pretty much screwed in this fucking life. I don't know who Nikki Haley is. I mean, if this pre if this person running for president, it better fucking do some things. That's for sure. Yeah, man. Sometimes it's good to lay off the internet, man. I have trouble with that. But sometimes it's fucking good to lay off that. Yeah, right? What is the point? <laughs> What's the point of retirement? Seventy years old, and you're gonna die the next day or something, <laughs> right? I think what it means is if he looks at the internet and he reads something that triggers him, it creates a psychosis, like something that makes him feel like shit. You know, like like for example, like how the internet talks shit on men. That would probably trigger him and create a psychosis. Oh my god, dude. I don't know if you guys fucking heard that, but... Someone trying to come in my door again. What's up, Edwin? I don't know what the fuck they were doing. They were trying to come in my door. And maybe they are going to try to fucking... Like, throw up in the toilet or something? They think this is the toilet in here? Uh, Steve loves Burger King. Yeah, it's his favorite meal. Take them to work. You know? 
But I'm gonna be done as live in five minutes because I got work. It's gonna be a hard time fucking sleeping, but I gotta get used to it, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, man, if it affects you, it make, makes you feel like shit. It's good to lay off them, man. Fuck that. Working Home Depot? Yeah, I'm wearing my colors. I can't stand when people chant this fucking song, Dreams and Nightmares, by Meek Mill. It's what they're fucking doing right now. Song. I don't care about that song anymore. The fuck? Was that that screaming? It's my fucking roommates. They're having a party. Probably 40 people down there. Go stream them? Nah, I ain't doing that. NPC? Yeah, a bunch of NPCs out there. Earphones? Yeah, I got them on. Unfortunately, I ain't gonna have earphones while I'm sleeping, though. I need to fucking... I need to go buy some. You didn't miss anything, dude. I'll tell you that much. You didn't miss shit, the college experience. <laughs> Come down there as positive Steve. Be like, you guys get back to work. You guys can't be partying. You got work tomorrow. Get to bed. <laughs> Yeah, I'll admit though, man. It's better to have that than fucking being in college and getting in debt. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of people, like, include, for example, like me, that fucking went to college, just get in debt and fucking suffer, you know? No, you're good, Mark. You're not doing anything wrong. Get off their ass and start hustling. Yeah, you guys gotta hustle. Hustle. What the fuck you guys doing? Fucking partying. And fucking drinking Hennessy, dude. You know you can't, like, get hung over and go to work, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're fucking stupid. I mean, that depends, dude. If you're on disability, Simon, like you just you don't just get money handed to you when you're autistic. You know? If you're on disability, you get it. What's up, Diane Hall? What's going on? Yeah, work under the tables where it's at. You get your disability, you fucking work under the table. I'll tell you this, I was considering getting disability when I was in that hospital. I just didn't do it because it would take too long. And I would be homeless. <laughs> I would be transitioning to couch surfing to be in homes. Yeah, it's fucked up. You can't fucking save a certain amount on disability. That's so messed up. <laughs> the most vulnerable need that money, you know? 
uh, let's fucking give these shitty politicians millions of dollars, but a person on disability can't have more than two thousand dollars in their savings account. Fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> You know what's crazy too? Fucking like my one roommate's like, we're pre gaming. We're gonna go party here and go to a bar. Don't look like it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen those, Braden. That would be a chill job. I wouldn't mind doing that. Nah, shit's fucked up, Mark. There's gotta be a better system on how people get disability. It can't just be, like... Like, hardly anything, because... You know, it's suffering. Because you never ask for those things, and you should have a comfortable living. It should be given to you, you know? Because you never... You never ask for that condition. Yeah, you gotta have connections with that, too. I agree. Yeah. You gotta have money, too, to fucking get the housing that's safe, you know? Why don't, why does in America fucking use that money to help people that are struggling like that, you know? And aren't capable of fucking working. I, I just don't under, fuck, look, tongue, tongue twister, I, I just don't fucking understand that. Yeah, it's basically what it is. Just network and fucking you get that job. <laughs> it's just a lot harder for people that struggle with socializing, struggle with fucking, with people, you know? All right, guys, I think I'm going to go to bed. It's calming down now, so we'll do a live tomorrow. So there's probably going to be some crazy shit going on tomorrow night. So I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>